டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ எம் டாக்டர் கே கண்ணன் ப்ரொஃபசர் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் அஞ்சலையம்மாள் மகாலிங்கம் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் கோயில் விண்ணி ஐ எம் ஹாப்பி டு மீட் யூ அகெயின் இன் தி சொல்யூஷன் அண்ட் டிஸ்கஷன் ஆன் யூபிஎஸ்சி இன்ஜினியரிங் சர்வீஸ் எக்ஸாம் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் இன் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் திஸ் இஸ் லெக்சர் நம்பர் தேர்ட்டி ஃபோர் தி டாபிக் இஸ் ஃப்ளூட் ஸ்டாட்டிக்ஸ் ஸோ வி டேக் ஃபியூ கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி ஃப்ளூட் ஸ்டாட்டிக்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி யூபிஎஸ்சி இன்ஜினியரிங் சர்வீஸ் எக்ஸாம் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஃப்ரம் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ கொஸ்டின் பேப்பர் there are two statements statement 1 the center of pressure is calculated by using the principles of moments statement 2 the moment of resultant force about an axis is equal to the sum of the moment of the component about the same axis so you have to select the answer so there are four options here the correct option is both the statement 1 and 2 are individually true individually correct but the statement 2 is not the correct explanation of the statement 1 The second question from 2015 question paper a tank of length breadth and height is in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 2 is full of water the ratio of hydrostatic force at the bottom to the at, at the bottom to that at any larger vertical surface is we have four options we calculate the answer the pressure head at the bottom of the surface is h the pressure head at the side wall is h by 2 the hydrostatic force at the bottom of this bottom of the tank fb equal to area into pressure head the area for the bottom surface is 2 into 1 into h equal to 2h the hydrostatic force on the larger side wall so fs equal to area into pressure head the area is 2 into 2 into h by 2 this equal to 2h so the ratio of hydrostatic force from between the bottom surface and the side surface is equal to 1 so the one is the correct answer option a is the correct answer the next question from 2016 question paper the water level in a dam is 10 meter the total force acting on the vertical wall per meter length is uh, we have four options here we calculate the total force at the vertical wall f equal to area into center of pressure h into g acceleration due to gravity so 10 into 1 into 5 into 9.81 equal to 490.5 newton the answer is option d 490.5 newton next question again from 2016 question paper an isosceles triangular lamina of base 1 meter and height 2 meter is located in a water in the water in vertical plane and its vertex is 1 meter below the free surface of water the position of the force acting on the lamina from the free surface of water is we have four options here so the correct answer is 2.42 meter so the position of the force acting on the lamina from the free surface 2.42 meter so we will see how in the next slide so this is the uh, uh, triangular lamina of base side uh, 1 meter height is 2 meter and it is 1 meter below the free surface of water the depth of center of gravity cg of the lamina from the free surface of water x bar equal to 1 plus 2 by 3 into h So one plus two by three into h equal to two. This is seven by three, two point three three three. Moment of inertia I C equal to b h cube by thirty six. So b is one h equal to two. One into two power three divided by thirty six equal to zero point triple two. The area of lamina A equal to half b h. So one into two divided by two equal to one meter square. So the de- the depth of the center of pressure from the free surface. H bar equal to X bar plus I G divided by A into X bar. So X bar plus I G into A into X bar equal to two point triple three plus zero point triple two divided by one into two point triple three equal to two point four two eight meter. So that is the answer to the question. The next question from two thousand fourteen question paper. Which one of the following statement is correct? For a floating body, the stable equilibrium condition exists when the position of the meta center remains higher than the center of the gravity of the body. Option B. For a floating body, the stable equilibrium condition exists when the position of the meta center remains lower than the center of gravity of the body. Option C. For a floating body, the neutral equilibrium condition exists when the position of the meta center remains higher than the center of gravity of the body. And option D. For a floating body, the unstable equilibrium condition exists when the position of the metal center remains higher than the center of gravity of the body. The answer is option A. The, for a floating body, the stable equilibrium condition exists when the position of the metal center remains higher than the center of gravity of the body. So we will see how in the next slide. 
So, this is the position of the for stable equilibrium condition. So, B is the position of the metal center, G is the center of gravity. So, the center of the position of the metal center should be higher than the center of gravity of the body for stable equilibrium that is the correct answer. The next question again from 2014 question paper there are two statements statement one when a given body floats in different liquid the volume displaced will, will decrease with the increase in the specific gravity of the fluid. Statement two the weight of the floating body is equal to the weight of the volume displaced. So, there are four options here we have to select the correct option. So, the correct option is both the statement 1 and 2 are individually true, but the statement 2 is not the correct explanation for the statement 1. So, both the statements are true, but there is no connection between statement 1 and statement 2. The next question from 2015 question paper consider the following statements. If a small upward displacement is given to your floating body, it results in the reduction of the buoyant force acting on the body. A slight horizontal displacement does not change in either the magnitude or the location of the buoyant force. So, which of the above statement is or correct? So, bo actually the both 1 and 2 statements are correct. So, both 1 and 2 oh, both the statements are they are correct in the given situation. The next, next question from 2016 question paper. A 25 centimeter long prismatic homogeneous solid floats in water with its axis vertical and 10 centimeter projecting above the water surface. The same solid floats in the some oil with, a, with its axis vertical and the 5 centimeter projecting above the solid surface. Then the specific gravity of the oil is we have 4 options here. The correct answer is option C 0 0.75. So, we will see how in the next slide. The answer to the question height of the solid is 25 centimeter length projecting outside the outside in water L is so small L equal to 10 centimeter, length projecting outside in the oil L equal to 5 centimeter. So, the buoyancy force in the water F w equal to rho w a into change in the length capital L minus small l into g. Buoyant force in the oil F o equal to rho o into a into capital L minus small l into g. For equal buoyancy force rho w a into l minus l into g equal to rho o a into l minus l into g. So, simplifying rho w into l minus l equal to rho o into l minus l. So, substituting the values rho o into 25 minus 10 equal to rho o into 25 minus 5. So, rho o by rho w. So, density of oil divided by density of water equal to 15 by 20 equal to 0.75. The specific gravity of water equal to 1. So, the specific gravity of oil is 0 0.75. That is the answer to the question. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written mechanically in your subject. You can refer to the book Flint Mechanics and Machinery for theoretical information of the subject. I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You refer to the channel, listen to the channel and uh, learn in a better way. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. If you have any queries, you can contact me. I will answer to the question. So, we will meet again in another video lecture.